Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel so honored that you have clicked on to watch this video. It means so very much to me. I wanna say welcome to all my new subscribers. You guys rock. Today I am going to go ahead and do a chatty get ready with me, tell you what's going on with everything. Um, and then I have a hodgepodge of stuff that I've purchased within the last month or so. I was recently at Walmart and they had these e.l.f. bite size palettes for $3. I thought they looked interesting. They have multiple colors. I wanted to get the one with the green and then the purple one, but they didn't have those in stock. So I just grabbed these three, test these out and see what the quality is. It's like you get four shadows for three bucks which is very affordable. And this palette is called Rose Water. I also purchased truffles and cream and sugar. I do wanna get, like I said, I'm gonna see how these are and then I will decide whether or not I'm gonna purchase any more with my Wet n Wild fluffy brush. I am gonna dip into the only shade that is matte. Let me show you these colors really quick up close. And then I'll swatch them too real quick. For being $3, they pack quite the pigment. Uh, impressed with the swatches. Now I am going to dip into that matte shade. I'm going to apply it right at the crease and above it. I've lately been experimenting with um, where to place color so I have better um, looks. And I've just been going up a little bit higher. These shadows do produce some kick up. not getting any fallout as of yet so that's a good thing probably should have told you I had already primed my eyes with my Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and I did my brows with my billion dollar brows universal pencil if you guys could do me a favor and down in the comment section give me some options for um, eyebrow pencils that are more drugstore. I want good quality that seem to go on really nice. Um, so if you have any suggestions, just leave them down below because the 18 to 24 dollars, and actually I've spent more than that because I bought a Bobby Brown one once. It's just ridiculous. With my Lexi 231 brush, I'm going to go ahead and dip into this deeper shade. Ooh, that is a lot of color. But there is a little bit of kick up. You can see it in the pan. Again, not that it's not a deal breaker for me. This is going to go in the outer corner, in the outer V.
I find that pressing it in intensifies that pigment. And then as I always do, I'm taking what's remaining on this brush and going inwards. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild fluffy brush that I originally started with and I am dipping again into the matte shade. Now with my Delium 777 brush, I'm going to use the shade next to the dark one. And then now I'm going to dip in that lighter shade with the other side of that brush. A little bit of fallout, not terrible. I am going to pull in a different color from another palette, the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. I am just going to take another, or take my Delium 773, and I'm going to go into the shade Momentum. And I'm just going to go right above. Wanted to give it a little bit more depth and definition. I'm also going to use the other side of that same brush and I'm dipping into my Venus Immortalis palette and I'm grabbing that white shade. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. I am going to be using my Tati Beauty um, Blendiful. This is the one that I demonstrated with. See how clean it is? I, I'm i really digging this. I'm, I'm glad Tati came out with this and brought up the fact that we could utilize it for more than just powder because I would have really never ever thought to use it for anything else. I am going to use that corner there and I'm using my Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. I need some anti-fatigue. I had my ablation done on January 13th on my left side. My left side proved to be way worse than my right, but also I think that that is the side that has more damage on it was recuperating and starting to feel a lot better and then I got hurt again. I'm not going to go into details about what happened at this time but I've been home all week. I've been home all week. My back is hurting. I'm fluctuating ice and heat. Right now I've got heat on it and you might wonder why I, I um, am doing videos. It's because it distracts me and it's something I can do. And, you know, 20 minutes I can sit there and smile when I really just want to cry because I love doing this. I love makeup. So that is what's going on currently. I am just going to bend my um, yeah, beautiful, I was going to say, my. <laughs> Blendiful, and I'm going to dip into my Tatcha Silk Canvas. I am really impressed with how this smooths out my skin, especially where the pores are, which is the area I use it for. 
I've been using this product for a long time, the Tatcha Silk Canvas, and I've liked how it's gone on, and I've thought it's got, done a good job. But after using the Blendiful on it, I found that that works much, much better. At some point in time, I'll probably pick up a couple more of these. And I wash all of my stuff by hand. I never throw anything in the washing machine. About a month ago, I was in Ulta, and they had it cosmetic brushes reduced or clearanced. I know that this is Love is the Foundation brush. It's different than in years past. I did not like the original, and this one looks a lot better. And then they had this brush as well, which I cannot remember the name of it, but this is the foundation brush. I do believe it's called You're a Star or something. So I figured I'd try these out. I'm going to use one brush here, one brush there. Let's see which one works better. My Estee Lauder Futurist foundation, and I wear 2N1 Desert Beige. I really like this foundation. We're going to start with the star. We'll put that one on this side. I like the way it's cut. Although I feel like it soaked up some of my product. Now with my Love is the Foundation brush, I'm going to pick up some product. I like this brush much better than the other, than years past, um, the Love is the Foundation brush. This one's very nice. I know at one time I was reading reviews and a lot of people didn't like this, but then there were a lot of people who didn't like the original one either. So, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to please everybody. I know that if um, this type of brush comes out again, uh, with this cut in the way that it's applying my foundation, I'll buy another one. I am going to apply a wee bit of my Tatcha Kiss You gloss. My lips have been so very dry and damaged because I had some work done to my teeth. And they use that suction thing that goes in your mouth and it hurts because it splits my lips, but have to do it, you gotta have good dental care. Another recent purchase is um, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I got it in 160 brightener or an illuminator. I have tried these a long time ago. 
I just wanted to give it a try again, see how, see if I still like it. I know I wasn't a big fan with the applicator, but you click it and at some point product comes up. I am going to place this under my eye since I really need to be brightened up there. I'll go down the middle of the nose, a little bit right there. Some up here. Okay. I am again going to grab my Tati Blendiful. I'm flipping it over right there, the corner. To tap that in and get it blended. I'll do under the eyes first and then I'll work on the other areas I applied this. very nice my Becca under eye brightening setting powder put a little bit in the lid here make sure I didn't get any creases that is really brightened everything up When I was picking up those eyeshadow palettes, I also picked up this Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. This was $3 as well. I picked up the shade Fairlight. I'm gonna use my, oh hell, what brand is this? The Beauty Crop Powder Brush. My go-to powder um, for a while now has been the Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm trying to... Uh, it's a good powder. It's just sometimes it's so expensive and I get... I want to find products that are accessible and affordable. If a $3 face powder gives me the same results as my Charlotte Tilbury bonus. One, I save money and two, um, you potentially can go and buy it. I don't know what any of your guys' finances are. Mine, mine are not as good as they once were, but I've had two ablations. I had four trial shots or injections in my back doctor's appointments i've had an mri just a lot of stuff this past year kind of it's very easy for me to get all wrapped up and start feeling sorry for myself and i don't want to do that because there are people out there that have far worse things going on in their life that i have chronic pain and I get medications for it. I have to jump through hoops to get them, but it is what it is. Um, I always try to focus on the bright side of things. Every once in a while, it's just hard for me to. I do enjoy these videos and interacting with each and every one of you. You guys, you literally brighten my day. I. It's just... A phenomenal feeling <clears throat> and then to see my channel grow is it really elates my emotions so it's wonderful I also picked up the essence mosaic blush 
And this is 40, the Berry Connection. Ooh, it is Berry. This is actually pretty nice. I like that color. It's just a little bit of pink. Pretty. Especially if you just have a light touch. It goes on very nicely. And since I have such bold eyes today, I'm going to go ahead and use my Hourglass Ambient uh, Lighting Edit Ghost Palette. I am going to use the Stro Powder in Iridescent Strobe Light. I recently got these in my BoxyCharm, and this is a brightening brush from Alomar. I've used it already, and I have to say, I really liked how it applied my highlight. Just to give a little bit of a glow here. Shining from within. And then not that long ago, I bought two L'Oreal Infallible um, Pro Less eye Waterproof Pencil Eyeliner. The reason, I think these were $9.99 and I bought one and got one half off. Something like that. Like the other eyeliners that I own, this Fenty Fry, Fry, this Fenty Fly Liner in Perpetrator, I really like. But this is $20, $21 or $22.00. These are more cost effective, so <clears throat> I figured I'm going to go ahead and try these today. So I have Aubergine and then also Ivy. I'll swatch these ones out for you. Here is Ivy. Ooh, that's pretty. That is a really pretty color. And then Aubergine. Oh, I really like that. I don't like doing this on camera, but I'll put this in my waterline. At least for one eye on camera. It is a very pretty color. I'm going to go back to that e.l.f. palette. And with my 780 pencil, that darker purple again. I'm just going right underneath by the lash line. And with the 777 brush from Delium. I'm going to dip into that matte shade again and just go underneath. I am going to use my um, Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. So let's just do a quick rundown of everything. This palette for three dollars is an exceptional value uh, I highly recommend these I will probably get some more at some point in time and again this powder is quite nice as well for three dollars so I'm going to continue to use this and if something changes I'll let you know but it might be able to replace some powders that I currently use the mosaic blush it added a nice pretty um, nice wash of color on my cheeks 
Yep, I still like the Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind Eraser and Brightener. I like both of these brushes that I got marked down, which is a bigger bonus. So I'll continue to use these. And I really do enjoy my Tati Blendiful. With her video and her step-by-steps, it really opened up my world as far as what all of a lower puff could do for um, makeup application and preparation for makeup application. And of course, the L'Oreal Infallible um, Eyeliner. I really like it. It went on very opaque. Hopefully it has some stain power, and if it does, I will be picking up more colors of this. I want to thank you again for spending some time with me watching my video. Uh, just doing these uplifts my spirits as it is, so I want to say thank you. And don't forget to share, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification and you'll be notified when my next video uploads I hope and leave any comments down below I love reading them all right guys I will see you next time bye much love